Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today I'm at my brother Luminaire 2 which is awesome. I love this machine and we're kind of digging into the detail work and, and letting you know what this machine can do and there's a lot of things. Last week I showed you guys about adding quilting to any design that you bring into the machine or any design that's on the machine already. This week I'm going to show you how to create how to create an applique out of any design whether it is on your machine or you send it over to your machine. So as long as it's the right format and you can see it, you can make an applique out of it. So why don't we go into the letters here and why don't we pick a B for brown. Now this outline is my 8x8 eight eight hoop. So let's go ahead and set that. That's beautiful. And before we go into embroidery mode, we want to go into edit mode. Now you do have a little bit of room to resize it. I think you can make it a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. So make sure you get the size that you want. This is actually a beautiful design, isn't it? A lot of detail work. Play around with colors if you need to. So size it, move it where you want. It comes in centered, so you should be okay on that. And this is the button that we are going to use. So this is what we did last week, the quilting. And this week we are going to do make an applique and it's really cool because, you know, it's done already. That's all you have to do is click on the button. Now you can play around with distance and the distances between the design and the applique. And you know this is applique because of the color. It's a brother color for applique. So let's see if you make the distance more then everything's going to round out a little bit and make you know the corners and these a little bit softer you can put it right up to the b if you wanted so that's as far as i can go uh making it further away and i kind of like that so i'm going to leave it there let's go okay and then we are going to go to the embroidery mode. But if you wanted to change colors, here's the color mode here. It's easy enough. So let's go to embroidery. Now for applique, this inside here will be fabric. So you really need to do this one first. It's not there. The first step is the letter. So we are going to go right into there and we're going to use these up and down arrows. So down would be advancing to the next step. I'll show you right here. Look, the next step is the flowers. So let's go back to our B and we want to go right to the end. So I'm going to hit the uh, up arrow key and there we have our applique so that's what you want to start with um, is your applique and it's uh awesome and it's pretty easy to do you have to go back one or two more so i went to the end but i know i got to go back a little bit so right here and this is your trim placement tack down all of these and this part here the pink is the satin stitches. So you really do have all of your pieces to do an applique. You just have to remember to do the applique first. It needs to be done. So once I do the applique, put your fabric down, do the uh, tack down stitch, and then trim it, and then do your satin stitches, you'll be done. The machine will make its happy music, 
and then you can start it again. So let's say we've done that. So we've done this. So I'm going the down arrow and we've stitched the satin stitches. Now we're going to start again on the lettering and work through. So you have to remember it's at the end. With applique, you have to go back a little bit, but it certainly is a lot easier than going through each one. Uh, this one isn't too long, so you could probably manage. It would look something like this. So we're going to use the down arrow and we're just going to go through everything and this is sorting it by color by steps by color whatever you want to call it so here we go and now we're at it so that was just as fast some designs uh have a lot of steps in it so you could be there all day so we've got our three steps here i love it it is so easy to do and you can make an applique out of any design that you have so let's go back and we're gonna delete it and I'm gonna go into my pocket right here and I am gonna find something interesting to do uh, some of the stuff is already applique some of the stuff I'm test stitching uh, I don't really have anything good in here so let's go back to the machine and uh, I will pick, this is the machine memory, so I'm going to pick my house here because it's nice and complicated. This is from the Designs in Machine Embroidery uh, Small Town Charm, and it's one I created in the Perfect Embroidery Professional software and sent to my machine. So none of it is on my machine other than it's in memory. So I'm going to go to Set and uh there's a lot of steps you can see a lot of steps uh worth it though so now we're going to go to our applique button that kind of looks like a patch and you have to be a little bit patient and let it think about it now i know this is the furthest it's gonna go uh this is okay here i don't really like it let's see what happens if we um bring it in a little bit. No, it's not going to let me do anything. This is how it has to be. So that's fine though, but it did a great job. So I'm going to go okay. And we are going to take it into embroidery. Make sure you have the right size hoop on it. And again, here's our first step, which is the applique of the uh, town hall. We don't want to start with that because we want to put different fabric down in the hoop. So we're going to go here and then we're going to hit the up arrow key. And then remember that we need to go up a couple more times for our lines. And then what you need to do is kind of go back to the beginning. Um, it'll just start at the beginning and then you can stitch your whole design out on an applique. How cool is that? Super easy to do. So you can make any design into an applique. Built in or ones that you've done. This is welcome to Sueville. So uh, I hope that helps everyone out. I hope um, you make appliques and try it out and see what you guys think of it. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.